Todd Lawton and Jeffrey LeBlanc are the masterminds behind Out of Print, which transforms literary classics into bookish apparel and accessories. With every purchase, the company donates books to support literacy programs around the world. Here to talk about Out of Print are Todd Lawton and Jeffrey LeBlanc. Tell us about Out of Print. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, we started Out of Print nine years ago, which is amazing because um, it doesn't seem like that. <laughs> so in, uh, in launching a brand just for readers, I think we also invented time travel. Right. Um, we make uh, shirts and um, other accessories uh, that feature classic book covers and content. So if you're a reader, you can put that on and connect with other readers and feel good about it. Which ones are you wearing today? Uh, I'm reading uh, the Japanese Animal Farm uh, oh, cover. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. Harry Potter. Or Harry Potter, <laughs> Order of the Phoenix. Classic, classic. 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 It's the longest Harry Potter book, is that correct? I, yeah. I believe so. Um, <laughs> what you guys knew each other as ch children, then separated and had different business experiences. What made you guys want to start a literary t-shirt company? Yeah. So. Um, that question's come up a lot. When we first started out, people were like, why are you going to do this? Like, but but um, yes, yeah, so we've known each other since the second grade. And um, we've always had you know, books in, in uh, love of books in common. And um, also, you know, have over the years um, talked about a lot of different business ideas and how can we, we do something to, to change the world. Um, so we felt that there was this need um, for readers to be able to share who they are through something that's fun to wear. Just like if you go to a concert, you walk away with a souvenir. It's a it's a band tee. Um, we wanted that for readers, and and, and uh, it wasn't available at the time, so we made it happen. So authors are your rock stars. Yeah. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and out of print, I, it, there's a funny story how you guys decide on that for the name, right? Yeah. So we um, it's a bit of a play on words. So I think a lot of people say, "Oh, you guys just do out of print books." Is that what the name is related to? And actually, when we thought about out of print, um, we we looked at we wanted to pick something that was fun and really encapsulated the joy of the reading experience. So there's obviously the big stuff like you love Harry Potter, you love the story, the characters, the author. But then there's the little stuff like cracking the spine of a new book, um, mm -hmm. the musty smell of an old library book that you love, or the library card itself. If you're uh, my age, you, <laughs> you sign those library cards. Um, so we wanted to figure out like what's the what's the name that imagines taking those things out of print and into the wild. And so we called our company out of print, and we released our shirts uh, into the wild. Cool. And what goes into deciding like which book gets a cover? I mean, gets like a shirt, you know. Yeah, so it's um, the, the process at the moment is we originally just looked at lists. We, we curated, you know, say, like, these are the top 100, these are the classics. Um, try to make sure you have good representation of different genres. Mm -hmm. And I think over time, um, our customers and fans became very vocal. So certain mm -hmm. things that were, were represented and weren't represented. And so I think over time, we've really found their customers to be a good source of those ideas. And some of your customers are celebrities, so you're getting some big names wearing it. What is that like when you see, like, Kristen Bell wearing one of your shirts? It's, it's incredible. I mean, I, I think we, we feel all readers are important. Um, but but we, famous ones are better. <laughs> Fine. Uh, we'll I don't say that. But when, when, you're, when you're able to, to see that you know, someone like Kristen Bell um, is also supporting something that you love, um, to, to be able to connect in that way mm -hmm. with a celebrity is like really special. And it's a genuine connection, because you don't wear a book tee right. if you don't want to show that. Right. To the world. So. And have you had the chance to meet any of the authors or have any interaction with anybody that you've featured on a shirt? I think one of our favorite experiences as a company um, was getting to meet Maurice Sendak mm -hmm. to get his permission mm -hmm. to make a shirt. And that um, basically was us walking into his study at his house, surrounded by all his things, mm -hmm. um, and spending an afternoon with him, just talking about everything and anything. And we kind of talked about the shirt, and then it, yeah, and the next, yeah, it was his draft. What well, you have stuff to get did he have? First. That's <laughs> <laughs> a lot of Mickey Mouse. Really? We love Mickey Mouse, yeah. And huh. a great dog. And a big, adorable dog. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, That's Melville. Cool. Any shirts that you want to do that you maybe haven't had the chance to do yet? So if you ask this question in our office, there will be a loud collective groan because there are two books that we've always wanted to do. They're the most requested, uh, I think, books. And the estates, the literary estates, sometimes say we don't want to do t-shirts. Oh. So it's Catcher in the Rye yes. and To Kill a Mockingbird. Oh, yeah. So if I'm allowed to make a shameless plug right now, if Harper Lee's agent is watching, <laughs> do the shirt! Wow. And the Harper shameless Lee. plug. Yeah. So those are like two literally most like instrumental books. Iconic, yeah. Iconic. Yes. your childhood, you read them Classics. in school, like this changed my life. Yeah. Do you guys have the Torah? <laughs> we don't have the tour. Okay. Um, the Bible, though. Or the Bible. Just curious, as a book. Jew. Um, <laughs> tell us about your partnership with Books for Africa. 
So uh, when we started out of print, you know, from the very beginning, we, we wanted to, um, you know, our overall mission was, you know, celebrate and share the joy of reading. Um, we felt a big part of that was also giving back and making sure that we're supporting the community. And uh, we found a great partner in Books for Africa. They're the number one um, supplier of books to the continent. And um, since we began, we've been you know, reserving money to help those donations. And in nine years, we're over three million books. Wow. wow. Um, which awesome. is, yeah. And um, you know, we've, been able, we've been able to visit some of the communities that have received the donations. And when you think about one book, um, you know, for us, it's like, yeah, it's a book. But when it goes somewhere there and to see how many people that book can reach, you know, it's, it's like 50 different people could be, you know, moved by that one book. So mm -hmm. it's incredible. We've been working with them since our very first days. That's really awesome. Wow. Yeah. The reading experience has changed so much over the years. Where do you two see it going in the future? Um, you want me to take this time? Yeah, so the, you know, I think the, the reading experience now, if you think about it, the people are accessing content in different ways, and content is changing length. So I think there's this conception now that content is uh, more acceptable in short form, a smaller bite, bite size. Um, you listen to it. Um, you might access it on your mobile device instead of reading, reading a physical book. But what's also interesting is that I think the millennial generation, younger generations now, are actually returning to the physical. You know, like the, the physical medium is now you're seeing a resurgence of vinyl, you're seeing the printed word actually outsells digital. So I think there's the, um, and studies have shown that uh, reading, reading physical books, you have a better um, connection with the book and totally. you know, better recall. Mm. So I think the, while the reading experience is changing, I think the ultimate, ultimately the most important thing is the story, what, what you're consuming is staying the same, and you're actually seeing things shift back to the, to the, old, mm -hmm. um, the old way. Um, one other thing I'll say is the, there are uh, different ways to discover content now. So because of social media and the internet, you're hearing what Reese Witherspoon is wearing, what Oprah's reading, uh, reading and wearing, <laughs> hopefully. Um, and uh, so that also makes, I think, you know, the internet a great thing for discovering what to read. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And we have to ask, what are you guys reading right now? Um, I'm reading a, a book by Marlon James. Um, it's actually uh, an advanced copy, but um, he's the author of A Brief History of Seven Killings. Mm -hmm. He has a new book that's essentially Game of Thrones that's set in Africa, so and it's old. incredible. Yeah. Um, it's I've called heard about it. Black Leopard, uh, oh my God. Red Wolf. Yeah. I've read a portion of that. I worked at a drug show in LA, and I read a portion of that because they were submitting it as like the app for Game of Thrones. It's really interesting. So I, I loved Brief History of Seven Killings. We were at mm -hmm. Comic-Con in New York, Next thing I know, I'm standing next to Marlon James, yeah. and he's in our booth. I'm like, uh, and he was so nice. He came over and, and brought a book. So yeah, I got lucky. I got an advanced copy. And That's, awesome. That's cool. It's hey, check it out when it comes. Perks out. of the job. Yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> I'm reading uh, Michael Pollan. I don't know if you're familiar with Omnivore's Dilemma. So mm -hmm. he wrote a new book called How to Change Your Mind, mm. uh, a trippy book about psychedelics. It's pretty huh, cool. Nice. Oh. Wow. Okay. Well, books are awesome, aren't they? <laughs> we love books. Todd and Jeffrey, thank you so much for joining us. It really was a pleasure. Thank you for having us. You